Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Bill Levinson, managing partner with Levinson and Associates. With me today, we have the Joseph Lochran, our marketing VP, and then we have our special guest speaker, David, who is our premium finance uh, guru specialist. So you're going to hear some great, great information about premium financing, uh, sales strategies, um, how to open doors to discuss this hot topic, right? And how to, of course, find the right prospects. So um, what I'm so excited about is uh, we've had in the past some uh, premium finance webinars, trainings. Uh, we had a, a couple podcasts that dive into this, uh, this topic, this concept, and it's been great. In fact, we even interviewed uh, one of our top agents um, who spoke about um, his premium finance experience and shared some of his cases with us. So some really great stuff for you to tap into. If you want to go um, back and look through our archive webinars folder, go to the podcast, um, go to the website. We even have a premium finance section, and we share all of our marketing material, sales strategies, uh, what carriers are approved, what programs uh, we have available. So basically everything is available to you at no charge, of course, um, but it's up to you to, to dive in and get comfortable around the concept. And please rely on Joseph, any of our marketing team members for more information. Okay, even if you've never sold a premium finance case before, no problem. If you're a, a veteran in the space, um, you're also going to learn some great new information, I promise you, because I've never seen a platform like this. So very, very cool stuff. Make sure your pen and paper um, is out. Uh, we're going to do a question of the day at the end of the call. So we'll end right before 3 p.m. Eastern time. Whoever answers the question first and correctly wins your choice, Amazon gift card or the new Fire tablet. But you have to be paying attention because – the question is going to be included in the next 30 minutes, okay? That's going to be my little tip of the day. So you got to be glued to the screen. Okay, um, so a few things uh, I, I want to share uh, real quick. Um, now, as you hear David speak about this awesome platform, okay, you've seen some of our marketing by now. Um, this is Simple Issue Premium Finance, okay? Now, when I say simple issue, okay, first of all, you've never seen anything like this, number one. Number two, if you have ever been involved with a premium finance case, you know there's many steps, many moving parts, tons of financial documents that you have to gather with the client, and that could be cumbersome, uh, could be timely, and in that time period, there's a lot of times the client can just say, you know what, I'm done with this, too many moving parts, and you wind up losing the entire sale. So David and his team have come up with an awesome new easy way to get the premium finance sale done, okay, in a, a very timely fashion. So I don't want to steal any of his thunder, but he's going to share some great uh, tips, sales strategies, concepts, also a turnkey premium finance platform that's going to help all of our agents no charge for that obviously the business has to be written back through us and david um, but there's absolutely no charge for that whatsoever so um, really really cool stuff now i also want to mention this and this is also very exciting our three carriers that are approved we all or i'm sorry levinson has direct contracts with all three and LSW is one of them, Allianz, number two, Minnesota Life, number three. And what's so cool is our scholarship program also comes with each, each of these carriers' products, okay, one-year free tuition, and that's only available through Levinson. So if your contract is through us, you have full free access to the scholarship program as well, which is just another added benefit for the client by working through you, the Levinson licensed agent. Okay, so um, great stuff there as well. That's kind of like the one-two punch. Um, what I also want to mention, very exciting, with LSW, okay, the net worth, minimum net worth requirement is basically zero. Okay, that's another huge plus. Most platforms out there have a million dollar minimum requirement for net worth. The minimum annual income, okay, for the insured or client is 100,000. 
So that opens up the doors to so many new prospects. Or if you want to go back and speak to your existing book of business, right? Think about that. Zero net worth, right? And a minimum of 100000 of annual income. That's huge. We even have a prospecting tool where you can dial in the criteria that you want, and our system will give you names, numbers, emails, right? So you can start calling on these people and making the introduction. And if you're not comfortable with a premium finance strategy, right? David and his team will actually get involved and help you with the client. Okay, so if you find the right prospect or client that's interested and you lay the groundwork, right, and, and they're ready for step two, David and his team will help you. Just like uh, Mary Reed and our distribution solution concept with uh, tax savings and retirement planning. They will get on the phone with you and your client and help you make the sale. They'll be involved every step of the way. So that's huge to me. You know, if I'm an agent out there, let's just say I'm focused on, you know, third bedroom, term sales, final expense, mortgage protection, right? And you come across the client that fits the mold, right? And you lay the groundwork and they're interested in this concept. David and his team will help you take it to the next level. Okay, that's priceless. So anyway, very excited about this. That means you don't have to be a CLU, CHFC, Wharton grad to bring up this concept, okay? And to follow through from A to Z and make the sale. So I love that aspect, never been done before. So really, really cool stuff. All right, let's uh, move forward here. What I wanna talk about uh, shifting gears is sales during the pandemic. So we just had a record number of applications sold through the Insure Me Now Direct platform. So this is Amazon for insurance, okay? If you know me, by now, you've heard me talk about this. I eat, sleep, and breathe and Sherme Now Direct. And the reason why is because think about what Amazon did to the retail space, right? Well, this is doing exactly the same thing in the life insurance space for the smaller policies, okay? This is huge for supplemental products, critical illness, cancer, term insurance, under a half million, accident, right? And it all comes with our scholarship program. Your client goes on your site, right? Your agent site for free, by the way, runs a quote, applies online, gets approved, saves their policy, prints and saves their policy all within seven minutes or less. Okay, never been done before. You still get paid full commission as the agent, just like as if you were face-to-face. -face. The reason why it's so hot right now is because face-to-face -face meetings are almost obsolete as we know, right? So there's not a better way for you to talk to a prospect on the phone or through email or through GoToMeeting or Zoom and say, hey, check out BillLevinson.com. Let me know what you think. And they can run a quote, apply, get approved, and be done with the entire process. And you just woke up in the morning and got a full commission, just like as if you were face-to-face. -face. We have a new product that we are adding, Paycheck Protection that we are literally, let's see, we're in the last phase of programming, should be done in about four to seven weeks. Um, you'll see that roll out uh, very, very soon. And again, that's gonna be, let's see, carrier number five, product number 16. So it's only growing from here. Okay, good, good stuff. Let's uh, move forward here to the next slide. And you know, I always like to share great testimonials. This agent happens to be on today's webinar. Um, I love this. This is the Bill Levinson Experience podcast, which uh, I'm also going to invite David to be a guest on uh, in the very near future, but you have to check this out. We have a new episode every single month, and it gives you a chance to dive in, and I basically put my agent hat on and ask agent-type questions for one hour to help our agents be able to plant the seed and come up with new strategies, right? And ask other top agents, what are they doing that's working during COVID-19? Or, you know, ask a carrier CEO, hey, you know, what angle are you guys going in? Where are you seeing the most sales, right? You get a chance to pick their brain for one hour and I do it for you. And I, all I ask is that you listen, it's all free, but leave a comment. I want to know if you liked it. If you thought maybe I should change something, if you want to see a new guest speaker, I want to hear from you. All this stuff is built around you, 
our agents. So real quick, this is a five-star review on Apple iTunes. Bill is a great interviewer and really knows how to get the most information out of his guests. I've learned so much from the really amazing guests on the Bill Levinson Experience Podcast. This is one of the best podcasts any insurance agent could ever listen to. Rob, thank you so much. That means the world to me. And what I really want out of this is to help our agents be able to come up with new creative ideas and ways to open doors and make more sales, right? And help more families and obviously help your family because you're making more commissions. So anyway, it's a win, win, win. Check it out when you get a chance. We have uh, the CEO of Haven was our last guest speaker. We launched it last week, and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, the next slide before we introduce our feature speaker is a brand new concept that we just came up with, in fact, two days ago. And basically, every single month, in fact, we're going to have a folder on our website. Every month, we're going to come up with a new strategy, a new tip, right, to help our agents drive more traffic and followers to their social media pages and or your website. And this is the first one that we have done. And so you're going to see this introduced on every single training webinar once a month. Okay, so the first concept, and it's so important, especially these days, for you to make sure that you're posting on social media, okay, and start driving traffic and what happens is that leads to more likes and followers and friends right and then they'll see an interesting article or an interesting concept and say hey bill tell me more or hey can you run a quote for me i didn't know you handled life insurance right that's what happens it's not rocket science so anyway we have a ton of questions and agents are always saying well how do i get more followers and more likes and you know, I'm sharing, you know, three times a week and I don't know how to increase my numbers. So we came up with this great tool that you're looking at in front of you. We have an image that you're going to use on your social media page, um, also through an e-blast. If you're using our CRM tool or a different one, no problem. So we're going to give you the image. We can co-brand it for you as well. And what this is, is a personal planning last wishes workbook. Okay, so this applies to every one of your prospects, friends, network, family, whatever. Everybody needs this. And it's basically a PDF attachment, and it walks the prospect through what they need to put in place for their last wishes, God forbid, when they pass on, to make sure their will is handled, to make sure the funeral home is picked out, to make sure their beneficiaries know where to find personal information, Everything is at your fingertips for your clients. It's free. It's just another value add. And what we encourage you to do is use this image, right, to market it on your social media pages and say, hey, if you like this picture or, or leave a comment, I will DM you or email you the new personal planning workbook for free. It's that simple. Okay, and that's going to start driving traffic. So that is our tip number one. We're going to send this out in today's thank you email. So everybody on this call will get a thank you email before we close shop today. If you don't get it, it's in your junk folder or we have your wrong email. But please, I encourage you, this is all going to be included in there. Start using it. And then what you do, any like or comment, this gives you a chance to collect their email address as well and add it to your database and send them the free PDF workbook, right? And then even better, what you do is you tell them, hey, when you get a chance to sit down and go over this, let me know and I'll do it with you, which gives you an opportunity to talk about assets and life insurance and annuities and long-term care. And then it brings up another question do you have enough coverage? So anyway, this is how you need to start thinking. And we're going to give you all of the tools to get your name out there because that's the name of the game at the end of the day, right? We all know how this goes. Okay. Uh, that will be in your thank you email. Next up, I want to introduce our feature presenter, Mr. David Green from NIW, an awesome new premium finance streamlined platform. David, you there? Yeah, I am. Thank you, Bill. How do I yep. sign up? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll send you a DM at the end of the presentation today. Okay? There you go. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. Well, welcome, everyone, and good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dave Green, of course, and uh, what I'm going to talk about is not necessarily the traditional form of premium financing, 
because uh, about eight years ago, we wanted to get into the executive benefit arena. And so you can't do that if you have to have a net worth of like 10 million and up to do estate planning. And they don't like the apps and and companies are a little different. So what we did was developed a, a strategy called Kaizen. And so it is for retirement planning. And so I know all of you guys are very astute when it comes to IULs and IULs were created predominantly for growth and income. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a traditional IUL product and we're going to add more money to it. And so how we do it is the fun part. So I thought uh, having maybe 30 minutes, I would do a, a client presentation and show you how I might sell and um, kind of tell you why I'm doing certain slides and, and how it affects the agent. I, I kind of like to uh, sell uh, cranial, cranially. What I'd like to say is I like to fit, figure out what's going through the mind of the client. And so if I can understand the client and get to their problem, I could potentially solve their needs. So you'll find that I'm not a fan of uh, ledger selling or illustrations. I have a feeling they get in the way. And so uh, I do like to solve the problem and be more of an advisor for my client rather than trying to sell a ledger. And so you'll see uh, kind of how I do that. So let me get started. I'll go as fast as possible because you guys are very astute. And so when I'm with a client, I want them to know that we're working for two basic reasons. One, to create a standard of living while we're working. Everybody wants our toys and our nice homes. And two, to have enough money to maintain that standard of living throughout a 22-year re retirement. That's the average. And so where we're falling down right now is uh, on the second part. And so if you're like me, you procrastinate, you know, maybe you don't have enough money to put away. And so consequently, you get to age 60 and you're saying, oh, I better do something. It might be a little too late. Now, Schwab says that you should be saving about 80% of what your pre-retirement income is when you retire. So I don't mention this to the client. I just, I just state the 80%. So I don't quiz them, you know, what is your 80%? They're going to do that automatically. And so I'll bring that up later. Now, I say, are you currently saving enough? Because that's the issue. And what determines how much you will have to spend in retirement basically is based on how much you'll save. So how much you invest, not where you invest it is the key. Now, current benefit plans focused on predominantly where you invest. All right, so you're, you have a lot of competition out there. You're competing with securities guys and real estate people, and they're all about what your return is going to be. And that basically amounts to about 26% of what you're actually going to achieve. Now, the other 74% is focused on how much you put in. That's the total capital that you're investing. Now, if you notice, we're all in this competing. Nobody's in the 74% side. In other words, nobody's giving the client money to invest. We're the only ones that are doing that. So current benefits that are being offered are failing most of us. So the issue is not where do I put my money, the issue is where do I get more money. Now, if we can provide more capital for our clients, we're that much further ahead. We'll always be in the 26%, but I want to be in the full 100%. Now, historically, employees work for one company over 30 to 40 years. That's pretty amazing. And it happened all the time. And why could you? That's, that's pure retention, I'm telling you. So how would you retain that person? Well, it's because of the defined benefit plan that the company had. They knew exactly what they could retire on. And then they didn't have to worry about putting away money or making sure that they did X, Y, Z to get to the 80% because it was there for them. And they could spend pretty much everything else. That is retention. Now, what happened to the defined benefit plan? Well, it went away. And what took its place? Well, we all know it predominantly as the 401k. There's other little uh, strategies, but the 401k is the cat's meow in the CPA marketplace. And so the problem with the 401k is they may match. Let's say I get a 3 or a 5% match, but it's up to the employee to contribute. And maybe they don't want to. And so if they're spending more money, they don't contribute. They don't get to 3 to 5%. But the ones that actually take the 3 to 
it's not enough money to get them to the 80% that they need to work on. So they need to put away more money. Now, if you're serious about financial planning, you have three major risks that could destroy everything that you've worked hard to achieve. Now, nobody likes the word risks, so that's kind of a scary thing. Destroy, that's another bad word. They don't like to hear those. So they wanna know, all right, what are these risks? Well, they're pretty easy. One is market risk, because everybody seems to be in the market. So if you've been in the market, we just saw a correction. Of course, it's coming back in a V shape, but if you looked at 2008, it took six to seven years to get back to even. That is nasty. And so we all know what the risks are in the market, but we're all in the market. Now, number two is maybe bigger, and that's tax risk. So you look at our debt right now of over 25 trillion and soon to be 30 trillion without a blink. And so you don't think taxes are gonna go up at some point in time right about when you're gonna retire? Well, then you have to think about all your investments that are gonna get taxed. And are you prepared to lose 50 to 60% of your retirement income to taxes? I don't think so. It's there and it's about to happen. So we have to prepare ourselves for that. The third one is capital risk. Now that's the risk of not having enough money for contributions in order to get to our 80%. So in other words, some people are spending enough money, they don't have enough money to contribute. So of course they fall behind and they procrastinate. Now those are the three major risks that I wanna talk about when we're talking about retirement income. Now if you could choose your retirement plan, let's, let's put together the ideal one and say what advantages would you want it to have? So the first thing I would say, would you want it deductible or pre-tax? Well, everybody wants it deductible. So let's check that. We'll do a yes. I actually do this for my clients. I come in with a blank sheet and they, I let them check it. So the second one is tax deferred growth. Do you want it taxed along the way? Well, no. All right, well, let's just check that because we want that. How about tax-free income? Now, if I'm in front of a client, I can see a little sheepish grin because already they're thinking too good to be true. And I'm saying, no, we're just making up the ideal vehicle. So would you want tax-free income if you could take it? Well, of course. So they're gonna check that. And I say, all right, if we can get this for you, what did that just do for your, your uh, retirement plan? Well, it eliminated one risk and that's the tax risk. So if I get tax-free income coming out of this thing, if the taxes go to 70%, I don't care. I'm insulated from tax. That's a huge, huge benefit. Well, let's keep going. Do you want it market driven? Well, of course, everybody wants to be in the market, but they're a little afraid of the market and they don't know how to utilize the market, but they'll say yes. And I'll say, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking safety. So this is the ideal plan. So would you want no downside interest rate risk? In other words, it can't go below zero. And they would say, sure, that's just incredible. So I'm gonna check that, and then I'm gonna say, if I can get this for you, what does that mean? Well, it just means that I eliminated another risk, and that's market risk. So if I can't go below zero, and the market goes a minus 35, it didn't bother me. I protected my downside. So my principal's still intact. An incredible asset to the to the retirement plan all right let's keep going you want it liquid of course let's put that in there how about cash in the event of a death or an illness imagine if you had a heart attack stroke als you just lost your biggest asset that's your ability to earn money imagine if you could draw from from your plan up to a million dollars tax-free well holy cow yeah of course i want that all right let's put that in there and last but not least, the fun one, matching funds. Imagine for every dollar you put in, we'll match up to $3 for every dollar into your plan. Well, yeah. I'm, now, I'm going to take that for sure. If I did and I had that in my plan, what did that do for me? Well, it just almost reduced the capital risk. In other words, we're adding money to their plan for them. Nobody does that in the industry. So I can get all of these for you, except for maybe one. Which one do you think it is? 
Well, it's probably deductibility. So I can get everything else but deductibility, and it's called Kaizen. So here I can get tax deferred growth, tax free income. I can do, and this is the disadvantage of working out of your home is that all of a sudden your lawn man comes by with his bricks and stratton. So I apologize for that. Let's hope he gets out of the way in a, in a few seconds. I hope you can still hear me. So I can basically get all of these and it's called Kaizen. Now, if I know that I'm getting paid by a C Corp or a not-for-profit, I can actually get deductibility as well. And that's called Trizan. And so that's, uh, we'll, we'll set that up for another meeting, but I can actually get all of this for you if I'm being paid by a C Corp or a not-for-profit. Okay, now how does that three to one leverage help as far as buying more benefits? Well, the Kaizen plan requires that the client pay only five annual payments. So if I split those up into, into maybe a lender and a client, how does that work? Well, in the first five years, I'm gonna pay 50%, the lender's gonna pay 50%. So in the next five years, I'm done paying, and the lender's gonna pick up the entire payment for the next five years. So you can see here that as a client, I've paid only five and I'm finished. The lender has done basically 75% of the entire payment or a three to one match. So that's pretty uh, impressive that I've done in five. Now corporations love that because they can budget for a five pay. And individuals, it's amazing how fast it goes. I, I personally own one of these and I'm done, I've done paying, and it went so fast I didn't even know I was finished. And now I'm letting all the lender pay in for me. Now, some of you might think, well, well, NIW split on the app. Yeah, we do pretty much everything for the agent. Once you've gotten a, a case underwritten, we'll do the lending, we'll do the annual statements, uh, we'll continue the lending for 15 years, we will administer it, we do almost everything, and we take 30% of the case. Now, a lot of people say, I'm not splitting with anybody at 30%, but take a look at this. If you weren't gonna use the lending and you put in the five pay on your own, you're gonna buy insurance equal to the MEC limit. So this is the max you're gonna put in. Now, if I add 75% more money to that contract, what's that gonna do to the insurance? Well, it's gonna pop it up. In fact, it'll almost double it so if I double the death benefit, what's that gonna to do to the target premium? Correct, it's gonna increase. So basically I did some studies and found that by using our company, even with a 30% uh, split, you're gonna make 44% uh, more income than if you didn't use this, just because we're putting in the additional money. In fact, you're gonna get paid excess commission on the lending as well. So it's kind of a nice deal. Now, we can do all of this without the typical risks of borrowing. Nobody likes to borrow money, and there's reasons for it. But we're gonna take away those reasons because we're not gonna have interest payments due. We're not gonna have loan documents that you have to fill out. There are no credit checks. You don't even qualify or have to qualify. No personal guarantees. And last but not least, not even a signature. So in other words, Imagine a mortgage where you don't have to sign it, you don't have to qualify, you just get the money. This is what we've done for our clients. Okay, now the analogy that I use is the mortgage and it's really easy. And so it, I'll give you a little um, elevator pitch that I've used. Somebody, you know, everybody says, what do you do for a living? And I would say, can I ask you a personal question? And they go, yeah, and I go, do you own a home? And they go, yeah. And I go, did you pay cash or did you take out a mortgage? And they always say, I took out a mortgage. And I say, why would you do that? And they stumble a little. And then finally they say, well, I needed a bigger house and I couldn't, I didn't have the cash for it. Okay, fine. You wanted a bigger house. Are you doing the same thing for your retirement plan where you're taking out a mortgage so that you have a bigger retirement income? And they look at you funny. 
and they go, I didn't even know that existed. And I say, that's what I do for a living. I provide uh, uh, tax-free income to professionals and executives who can afford it. I said that to one guy, and he says, what does it take to afford? And I said, how much do you make? And he said, about 750000 And I go, you just got in under the wire. So sold that guy. So what the, what the analogy should be is I've got a $200,000 cash that I can either buy with a home with the cash or take out a mortgage. So I took a picture of my home here in Duluth, Georgia, and I pay 200 in cash and I've got my home. Well, I got a picture of Bill's house and he took the 200000 and he bought his million dollar home. And he took out an $800,000 mortgage. And so I'm thinking, why would a mortgage company go on the hook for that? Well, it's because these homes are appreciable assets, hopefully, not necessarily. I mean, they lost value in 2008, so it's possible, but they're predominantly appreciable. So let's suppose they both increase by 10% in value. So over here, my home increased to 220 which gave me an increase of net worth by 20 grand. Over here, Bill, his million went up by 10% and his net worth increased by 100 grand. So he was able to increase his net worth by more than $80,000 because he was utilizing other people's money. Wow, that's why this thing works so well. And that's how I com compare the Kaizen plan to a mortgage. Now, at this point, everybody wants to know what the numbers are. I don't like to go to illustrations, so we have a proprietary web-based program called ILIA, and it's called Intelligent Learning Information Assistant. And what I do is I go out, and I'll get on the web, and I have an app called ILIA, which you guys could have, and I'll log in because it's mine. And up pops, let's do this. I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna gear this over and up pops a demo. Oh shoot, I gotta do this. It's not as hard as you think. So my demo pops up. And now what I have is it comes right up into a video. So I have a little three minute video and what I'd like to do is play it for you real fast, and then I'll go into the fun stuff. So let me do this. I'm going to go larger, and I'm going to start this thing. And it's not working. Hold on. Hold on. I'll start it over again. Ready? Go. When it comes to retirement, executives often think investing in stocks and other investments will provide enough income to maintain their current lifestyle for the average 22-year retirement. But in most cases, this ends up not providing the means to maintain their lifestyle throughout retirement. And when they come to this realization, it's too late to do anything about it. Most highly compensated people don't start saving until their 40s, missing out on years of compounding interest. This result is a significant loss in retirement funds, and in their 40s, most are saving only about 9% of their income. So how much should you be saving if you want to maintain your current lifestyle in retirement? 33% of your income. There's got to be another way to meet retirement goals without having to use a third of your income during your career. Well, there is. You now have a way to maintain your lifestyle during retirement. Introducing Kaizen. Kaizen is a proactive strategy that gives you access to extra money up front, providing you the potential to earn more for your retirement, protecting your future income without putting a drain on your current way of living. This strategy helps you maintain your current lifestyle in the event of a chronic illness, premature death, or inability to sufficiently save for retirement. Traditional retirement plans are typically insufficient for high-income earners. Kaizen is different because it makes use of leverage without the need for participant loans, interest payments, or personal guarantees. One of the greatest advantages of leverage is it provides an opportunity to significantly enhance your ability to save for retirement. Experts agree, when used correctly, leverage is a very powerful retirement tool. Even Forbes says, 
you can leverage your way to a richer retirement. Here's how Kaizen uses leverage in a very different way. Your contributions are matched by the lender for the first five years. Then, the lender uses that as security for the additional funds for the next five years. The contributions are used to fund a cash accumulation life insurance policy. A minimum amount is used to purchase the death benefits, living benefits, while the majority of the cash is used to maximize your potential tax advantage growth. What could be better? Kaizen also has unique cash accumulation features within the policy. Where a major market index like the S&P has growth, it is calculated and credited to you. Once gains are credited, they cannot decline due to market losses. This helps keep your money safe. Would you rather have this in retirement or the potential for 60 to 100% more retirement income with Kaizen? Secure your lifestyle with Kaizen. More money, more protection, more confidence. Okay, that's kind of a short three-minute video. Um, I'll get out of here. So that's the, over here. This is this is my web-based uh, program, and I've got uh, over here. I've got the menu of, and I just did the introduction video. Uh, I can, and you'll find this out, but I can actually send this to the client and let them play with it. So a lot of clients love to play around, especially doctors because it's hard to get to a doctor during the day, but if you send him a, a this, this uh, web-based program, they can, they can access it anytime they want. So they may be up at eight o'clock at night doing all this stuff, they actually do it, it's incredible. So that's the introduction video. The fun of this thing is the estimate my benefits. Now I told you that I didn't like ledgers. So this kind of takes the place of a ledger and it actually, you can do it on the fly. So if I'm in front of a client, I may say something like, I'm not gonna bring up their age yet. I might say what, who I've worked on in the past so they, can, so they don't feel uh, threatened. So I may say, you know, last week I was working with a 45-year-old male, good health. He w actually was gonna put in $35,000 a year into this. Why would a guy put in $35,000 a year? Now remember, this is a five pay. So in five years, uh, he would have put in 175,000. There's a trust fee for five years. That's incorporated in the illustrations. So I put in 175. Now, what am I gonna get for 175? Well, the first thing is we have to buy the minimum amount of life insurance. So we do right up to MEC limits and it automatically figures that. So you would have just shy of 1.5 million of death benefit. Now you're not buying it predominantly for the death benefit, you're buying it for the tax benefits. So the next step is, well, what am I gonna receive for income? And that's our potential distributions. So by putting in 175,000, I would be able to draw 80,000 a year tax-free from ages 65 to 90. Now I could go to 100, we just stop it at 90. Now. At 90, I would have taken out $2 million for $175,000 investment, but there's more. Suppose at 90, Gabriel blows the trumpet, and over here, we still have a death benefit. And this is all net of what I've taken over here. So I would have a $2 million death benefit to my heirs, all tax-free. So I've been taking out $4 million completely income tax-free with $175,000 investment. That's pretty amazing. And I'm done in five years. Now a client may think that's a lot, but they really don't know. So let's compare this to other investments. So I'm gonna click view all. And the first thing that comes up is you'll see here, this is the Kaizen that I just showed them. So they would take out 80,000 a year. Uh, at age 90, they've taken out $2 million. That's a 9.81% internal rate of return. Now that's not just with the income because I'm gonna assume death occurs at 90. So here I'd have the $2 million death benefit. All right, so this is the 1.4 to start the thing out. Now, 
the client might say, well, wait a minute, I'm a little apprehensive of the leverage. Can you show me that same product without leverage? And this is what 95% of us are selling right now is a traditional IUL. So if I go to an IUL without leverage, look what the income does. I have not been able to leverage up the amount of money that's going in there. So the output is only 37,000 a year. That's less than half of using the leverage. And now the IRR drops down to seven. I still have a death benefit. Oh, well, I've got a less death benefit. 845,000, so I'm behind about a little over $650,000. And so who doesn't like that? Well, the spouse doesn't like that. They just lost $650,000 of insurance. So they like this as well, even though it's gonna get them twice the income. Now look at the death benefit at 90, 700 versus 2 million. I mean, it's a scathing attack on the traditional IUL. Now, they may say, well, I'm really interested in securities or mutual funds, so let's look at an after-tax investment here. And when I have an after-tax investment, I may assume a 20% capital gains rate. So I look down here, I've got all my assumptions, and so I'm looking at a 6.07% interest rate, I'm looking at a 20% capital gains, I'm looking at a 37% income tax rate, which could go up, that's one of the risks. So I'll look at this after-tax investment because of only 20% capital gains, same interest rate, I can only take out a net 27,000. That's less than the IUL. That's why we like to sell IUL. But 27, but look at this, no death benefit, no living benefits, and the IRR drops down below 5%. Not great. Well, let's go further because everybody loves the I or the 401k. It's the darling of the industry. So I'm going to look at a tax deferred investment. This could be an IRA, a 401k, a cash balance plan, deferred comp, anything that's taxable at ordinary income when I take it out. Now, of course, the 401k is deductible. So we threw in the additional deduction as a growth element and then we're gonna pay 37% tax coming out. Now that's not to say that it's gone to 60% by the time I take this, we're gonna keep it at 37, which is historically low. So at that amount of tax, I can take out a net 32,000, more than the investment, but it's a lot less, it's less than half of the Kaizen. Now, of course here, no death benefit and no living benefits as well. So I don't have that going for me. Now, a lot of people love visuals, so I'll look at the graph view, and you'll see here's, here's the income with Kaizen, here's the death benefit, and here's the income and death benefit if I don't finance, and here's the mutual fund, here's the 401k. Now, you'll notice this; these three are very similar. So what's the differentiator? Well, the leverage over here. So it, every time that you do this, it's going to look pr pretty much the same. Now, the fun part about this is I haven't told them about anything about them. So I'm going to go back and I'm saying, well, this guy, actually, I said to this guy, I said, all right, you're making $80,000 a year on this. How much is your 80% of what you're making right now? Now I'm going to bring it up. And he says, well, I'm making 200000 a year. So I need, I, I need 160,000 in order to get my 80%. Well, I'm short here and I'm, and I'm saying, oh, you could have other investments, but if you wanted to go right to the 160, we can play a game here. We can go 70,000. There I am, 164. So I've, I've been able to determine how to reach their retirement goal in one easy step. Now, this guy might say, well, 70,000, I can't afford 70. So I said, well, was the 35 okay? I could muster 35, and I've got some mutual funds that I could put into this because I know that they're going to get taxed and whacked down the road. So I'm going to say, okay, let's start with 35,000. And it gave me half the income, but this is a five pay. So after five years, I'm done. So in five years, I'm 50. And let's suppose I need to get another 
eighty thousand. So I might have to go forty five thousand for the next five thousand, a little more than that, fifty thousand. And he's doing better in five years. So now here I'm close to my goal. And what I've done is laddered two of these together from 45 to 55. Now he could still continue to do another one if he wants. And so what I've done is I've kind of worked him into buying something to get him started. All right, now he may say, well, wait a minute, my wife is 40. What would it look like on her if we put in 35,000? So I'm putting in 35,000, I'm gonna go female. I say, is she in good health or is she in excellent health? Well, she's in excellent health. So if we did 35,000 on her, you've got 136,000 tax-free from 65 to 90. That's pretty nice. That's a 10% internal rate of return. Now, why is it higher than the 6%? It's because the death benefit. So you get the death benefit, in increases the IRR at that time. Now, of course, I could view all your comparisons, and I'm just blowing it away. 136, 56, 35. I'm blowing away anything that they have that they they may think that they they like. And of course, if I showed the graph view, it's just a scathing attack. So I've showed them right in front. Now, guess what happens every time I do this? They go, "Well, I'm 48." Oh, I didn't. You don't look that old. All right. So we go 48, and they go. I need, uh, let's say that I want a hundred grand. So I say, all right, you're a male. Are you in excellent health? Yes. All right, so I, let's, let's do this. Let's go 50 grand. I'm at 90, 55,000 gets me to a hundred grand. Now you're gonna know at that time whether they can afford the 55. Now, if you came in and you sold a Kaizen plan and you started with, Let's suppose you put in 55,000 a year. They're gonna go, what? That's just crazy. I'm not putting 55,000. You just blown them out of the water. So let them determine what they need and let them determine if they can afford it. Now you're gonna find one of two things. They're gonna say, yeah, this is nice. And I'm gonna, of course, if I showed the graph view, I'm blowing away everything else that I've just showed him what he's doing. So he likes this. Now he may say the other thing, I just can't afford it. So let's start with a smaller amount. Let's start with 25,000 and then we'll move up down the road. But what I've done without a ledger, I've solved their need on the fly. I didn't, now the guy's not saying, well, what would it be if I took it out at age 70? And I would say, well, it's like social security. It'd be more. Or what if, what, if I, what if the interest rate was 5%? It would be less. I mean, it, you can do the final illustration once you have the underwritten contract. In other words, once we get an offer, this is so hypothetical as it is, once we get an offer, we would change this. Because we know here that 25,000 would create 43,000 a year income. If I didn't come in that way, it would, it would drop it down. Look at, that's not as much as you think. Now you're making 41,000 even as a standard rate. Now you look at this in a corporate market and corporations love this. They can use it as key person contracts to, to cover deferred comp or, or uh, stock redemption plans. Uh, they could use it as a 162 bonus. Every way that you can use an IUL, you can supersize it with leverage. And guess what? They don't have to qualify for it. They don't sign for it. It doesn't show up on their books because it's not there alone. Now, this was estimate my benefits and I can play all day long. And if I say to my client, would you like for me to send you this so that you can play with it? There's not one person that says no. So I can send this to them and let them play. Now, when they get on, I say, now just remember, this is your menu. So you have every way to learn all about this. Here's finance, did you know? Let's say I have a doctor. They say, what happens to my benefit if I get sued? I'll click that and it says, well, here's the obstacle, personal liability, here's the solution. We create a trust for each contract. So that's creditor proof and bankruptcy remote. So it's protection. Now, somebody might say, I, I don't have enough money for retirement. 
Well, the obstacle is inability to save enough. Here's the solution. We'll do a three-to-one match on your behalf. Uh, all right, where will taxes be when I retire? Tax-free income. I can do this all day long. I can say, how does it work? I have another really cool video that's less than three minutes. I won't show it now, but they will want to look at it. I could get into how the product works. I know everything about caps and overhead. I could find out how the leverage works. They can look at that. I can find out how we minimize risk. And so I could show how we stress test it, not only today in market conditions, but what would it look like through the highest loan rates in history, through the 80s? How would it look like if we push this through the Great Depression, where returns were actually we would have had nine zeros out of the first 12 years? And it's still, look at this, it spins off in this situation, 48,000 a year income through the Great Depression versus 26 if I wrote a traditional IUL in today's world. What a difference. Then I get into plan details, how the trust works. They can even look at testimonials. In other words, I can go to, let's say, I can learn from experts, executives, like here's a realtor, two CEOs, here's a, 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 an architect, we've got radiologists. They can look at these videos and find out why they love Kaizen. And we've also got fr frequently asked questions. This is what a client can do at at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday without you being there. Now, if they have a question, they can always come over here because you sent them this, you're tied to this client. So they can, this is a chat box. So they can chat with you live, assuming that you're on, and they can get all their questions answered. Now, when they get on this, you'll know about it. I'll show you that before I get off. I'm running, I might be running out of time. I got about five minutes. So. Down here, this is the, you can't see this too well because this is a demo, but it says start online enrollment. So once the client is on here, they can click this and they'll go through all the underwriting, uh, the app and the trust work without you being there. So this is a perfect strategy for doing group business where the group may be all over the country or an association. You may have an association of realtors where there's 10,000, there's 10,000 realtors in the association here in Atlanta. And so I could send this to 10,000 people and they could all do this and they could click and you may have 10 cases come in on Monday that you didn't even meet the client. It's pretty amazing. And they actually do it. Did you ever think you'd buy a car via the internet? Well, it's happening and they're doing it now here. So that's the plan. Now, I'm going to go over here, and this says, well, this is me. I'm going to go to this gearbox on the top right, and I'm going to exit the demo. And what it does for you as an agent, it turns into a client management system. So in other words, if I can, I can put all of my clients on here and send them this, uh, this website. So I might, cre if they say, uh, yeah, I'd love to get it. All right, I'll click new invitation. So all I do is I fill out the information on name, cell, email, age, household income, and then they, they, they help you with that. Then this will light up and you send the invitation to them and it's over. Now, when I go back, let me do this. Um, when I go back, they, if I sent that to Kevin McOver, it'll pop up on my screen. Here's their email. Well, I sent them a Kaizen strategy, National Life, and I found out, whoa, they opened the invite already. Or it's been delivered, but they haven't opened it. So I'll know what's going on with each one of the clients I've sent this to. So it's a great way to follow what they're doing. Now, I may say to them when I send them the invite, is it okay if I call you in a week to, to ask how things are going? Sure. So I'll know though, because it'll pop up. I'll even know that they're, they filled out the, uh, the application. So that's kind of how our system works. And I like this a lot. This has worked so well for me. I do sell a little bit on the side. Um, I don't compete with my own people, 
but uh, let me do this again. And I could use uh, alliances on here now, so I could do that. And so that's kind of how I sell anymore. And I find out real fast if they're interested. And I can do this through the COVID-19 uh, problem where I could just do a Zoom meeting like I've just done for you. And uh, actually I've done a, I have a, um, a, a link that I can send a client where it sh it's a video of what I've just done for the client. So I can send them a link as well. So that's kind of it. Um, Bill or Joe, do you want to jump in or do we have questions or? No, that, that was perfect. So what we're going to do, we have just a couple minutes left and we're going to touch on a few things, but that was, um, that was the best premium finance presentation I've seen. You, yeah, that was spot on. Um, there's going to be a lot of questions, comments coming in. Just use that question box and then we can get in touch with David after the call if needed, and then of course make the introduction once you're appointed. Um, Joe's gonna touch on a, a few different pieces on how to start gaining prospects to discuss this conversation, right? So we're gonna do that right now, and then we'll end in just two or three minutes and we'll have our question of the day. Joe, you there? Yeah, thanks, Bill. So, of course, we'll email out all the resources this afternoon, but I want to let everybody know on the Levinson website, uh, we do have a section labeled Premium Finance, so you can actually go in and download a lot of great resources. There's even a quote request box so you can enter in information about a potential client or prospect, uh, and then our marketing team will get right back to you and kind of discuss the scenario uh, and even help you with illustrations and presentation materials so you can present this topic to that client. So we've got kind of a step-by-step -step agent process built into the website. Uh, really quickly here, I also want to show you we've got the great intake forms. Uh, so if you're on an appointment or maybe you're just on a, on a phone call with that client or a virtual meeting, um, you can take down uh, that intake form, um, fill out that information with your client, and then again, we'll uh, give you the material you need to be able to present that concept to your client and kind of talk about different solutions and things that will become available. Real quickly here, Bill mentioned a prospecting system that we have set up uh, to help you find new prospects. A great question I get every day is, hey, I love this concept. It's awesome, um, but I'm just starting out. How, how do I find the right people this might fit for? Um, so our CRM marketing tool called Agency Automator has a prospecting database built in. You can either search consumers. We've got a little over 25 million different records on the consumer side. And then business owners, we've got 6.7 million records. Uh, you can sort by the actual income the business makes, which is great if you're looking for someone that has at least that $100,000 of income. You can sort by net worth, you can sort by zip code. So you can literally plug in and say, hey, show me a list of people within a uh, 50 mile radius that make at least $100,000 of premium that have been um, you know, a business owner for X amount of years with X amount of employees. And it will generate that list for you, name, phone number, physical address, email address. And then our system is actually set up so you can drip email market on every single one of those prospects to get your name in front of them, to get your website in front of them. Heck, you could even send out that uh, link that David demoed that kind of talked about the whole premium finance scenario. So a lot of great resources available through that marketing tool. I'll send out that link so you can access that uh, this afternoon. Okay, good stuff, Joe. So we're we're, we're well, just about done. Uh, by but the I think way, this is. Do I, I'm Joe, sorry, Bill. Uh, is it? Um, I'm going to have to jump off. Do you, I mean you can get questions and I'll answer them later. Yep, that, we're fine. Okay, thank you, thanks. Dave. We appreciate it, bud. Thanks, guys. So, so real quick, um, I think this is extremely important, and the reason why, this was a real case that just happened. If you look at the left side, okay, and you have your agent hat on, by the way, and, and you, uh, think if, if you can sell a concept like this, okay? This was a real case, just got approved, agent paid, everything's done. It was premium finance. So, male 45, uh, healthy, injury attorney, okay, PI attorney. He had a $2 million UL plan with mass. Cash value was 350000 okay? The agent said to this client, hey, if we can get you a $12 million IUL, okay, that includes living benefits, we're going to take your cash value, 1035 it into the new plan, right, and match the premium, okay? So you're going to go from $2 million to $12 million, paying the same exact premium, would you do it? And of course, the client said yes. We got the application, processed it, used premium finance strategy, 
the agent walked away with a $350,000 check for his commission, okay? That's premium finance in a nutshell. So you could have these cases sitting in your book today. So anyway, just think about that. On the right side, I pulled another great case study. This happened to be a, a life settlement, which is blowing up right now, very, very hot. Um, people just can't afford policies in some cases. So this was an agent. This is one of our agents' own personal cases. So he called and said, hey, he's not doing well, not healthy. He was going to let his policy lapse because he couldn't afford to pay the premiums any longer. Okay, so just think about this for a minute. $100,000 GUL plan, zero cash value, okay? He was diagnosed one year ago with lymphoma, unfortunately. Horrible story, okay? So he was about to let the policy last. We said, no, wait a minute. What about a life settlement? We wound up getting him an offer of $35,000 plus. He was the agent on his own case. He walked away with a check for $40,000, okay? When before the phone call, he was about to let the policy lapse. He would have had zero, and then he would have been paying those premiums along the way, and obviously the policy never triggered, okay, which is probably a, it's a good thing because that means he's still alive, but we turned a zero into 40000 on a life settlement. So anyway, just wanted to share those two cases. Um, the next slide is agent training. So I'm sure you're aware by now, just go to our website under agent training. We have the calendar. You can register for every single event that we have weekly, daily. We also have top final expense plans on September 2nd. Don't miss that webinar. Okay, the last slide and the question of the day. So whoever answers first incorrectly wins. And then I'll go over our positive Tuesday quote, but I'll start with the question of the day since we're going long here and I apologize. So I named three carriers that we have direct contracts with through the Kaizen program. All three are approved. By the way, if you're appointed with one of those three companies already, get appointed with Levinson. If you're with another IMO, move it over to us. We pay you a hundred bucks cash or more plus free leads with your first placed application and we match or beat your existing commission grid. So move it over to Levinson, then you get full access to the platform we went over. I named one of those three carriers that had a zero requirement for net worth. Okay, name the carrier, you win. It was zero requirement for net worth and a minimum of 100,000 of annual income. There was one carrier that was okay with that, that's approved with the Kaizen program. Joe, do we have a winner? Name the carrier, you win. Who's first, Joe? Yep, the winner is Calvin B. from Georgia. Calvin B., congratulations. The answer was Life of the Southwest, zero requirement for net worth. The other two companies, Minnesota Life and Allianz, without change, you have no innovation. And without fear, you have change. Let's all go out there and make it happen change your strategy, leverage a platform like this, life settlements, the Mary Reed distribution solution concept. We're here to help you. They'll even get on the phone with you and your client and help you make the sale. No excuse anymore. Have a great rest of the week, a good weekend, and great selling. Thank you again.